Maybe today is finally the day where Lord Ansarik, the eternally stressed Lord Ansarik, can take a bit of a breather. A sigh of relief, knowing full well that Lord Gelfred, even though he didn't die by our hand, is dead. The slayer of our father, the killer of our childhood pets. He was a real Disney-level villain through and through. He is dead, though not by our hand. He did live through a lifetime of suffering because we assassinated his entire family. All the way to the extent now that Strongmead isn't even owned by a member of... Of, of House Cargill anymore. They're gone. They're extinct. So there's a lot of very, very good suggestions for where we would take this character at this point. Maybe he would relax for a little bit and, and let some of that stress go, given that that big character driving factor, you know, that motivation that he's had since a child that's been hanging over him is gone. Maybe he could actually calm down a little bit. Maybe we double down. Maybe the fact that he is a, a paranoid man and he has seen how easy it is for an entire dynasty to get wiped out like they're nothing at all. Maybe he would double down and he'd want to protect his children. He would want to protect his territory and his land and make sure that they are safer than ever. Either way, lots of very good suggestions for specifics we could be doing in the comment section. Lots of people pointing out that uh, in the diplomacy tree, of course, when we get quite near the bottom right, uh, yeah, Accomplished Forger, we can buy the Artifact claim on our Valyrian Steel Sword and get that back. And I do think that needs to be a long-term play for sure. Even if it's not our current character, certainly the next character. Getting back Strongmead, of course, is another very legitimate goal for us to do. It was House Cargill's. We're, we're part of the Cargill dynasty, even if we're now House Cossork. So we should definitely grab that one at some point as well. Then, perhaps a bit more immediately, we have another rival, Lord Reynard of Longgrass, our neighbor. He was the rival at the feast, if you remember, that we embarrassed when we went to that feast in Bramsfort when King Stannis was there. He now hates us, but he is an idiot, and dealing with him is going to be very straightforward. We could really kind of double, triple down on this and try and take his domain as well. The problem with Briarcrest is it's part of the King's Landing uh, du jour duchy title, right? We are never going to be able to make that. Stannis owns it. Even if we were able to grab most of the land, we wouldn't be able to claim it off him, right? We could, however, go for this. The Blackwater Rush, which isn't... Uh, it doesn't exist right now. I think it's actually divided. Yeah, the Trident has grabbed a little bit of it there. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of different inroads. I saw a really cool but slightly random idea from someone who said, why not try and claim the rock? And then instead of a golden lion, it can be a golden goose. I actually do kind of like that. Maybe for a future warmongering type character, that could be a good goal. Maybe if they're warmongering, ambitious, something like that. Either way, let's get some plots rolling here. Because a, a paranoid man, I feel like having that spy network. I, I do like the. I, I think we should take a look at the spy network and figure things out. Recruiting spies is lowering our paranoia because we've got more eyes watching things. So it's definitely within character to do this. Some people have suggested Sedusa because, of course, he's rackish and lustful. Some people have suggested Torturer because he loves a little murder. And he did test poisons on his lover as a child. Lots of formative stuff that could go into those. I don't know if I can really justify uh, spending what will be years and years going through the diplomacy tree to get the Valyrian steel back. Certainly, that's something. Uh, that's certainly a goal for a future and much better character, right? We'll end up with a diplomacy character, I'm sure, uh, before long anyway. Theory, our next kid's gonna become uh, a good steward, right? Already has that kind of focus, has a good educator. I've got high hopes for Merrick. We need a round for him to actually rule, though. Think the, the short-term goal today is definitely try and grab Strongmead. It's going to be impossible to do with... Uh, it's gonna be impossible to do with warfare, isn't it? Fre House Frey, again, they are absolutely everywhere. My god. Uh, <laughs> can we look at the dynastic map mode to see how far they spread? You, you have a dynastic map mode in uh, houses. That's it. In CK3, right? Can we not break the maps up like you can in CK2? Oh, Boo Earns. Is there no way to break that down? Ah, oh, you used to be able to control click on the map and it would show the subdivisions, but I guess not. Oh, bollocks. Well, that's annoying. Oh, well, never mind. I was just kind of curious how many frays would be dotted around the map. So somebody pointed out that we could potentially petition Stannis to give us that size when we've got a claim on it. I'm not sure how that works, whether he'll take it from Doralis and give it to us. Whether we'd be shuffled as a vassal under this guy? I'm not sure. But it's certainly the best way in I think we've got right now. I think something I've really got to focus on is is having simultaneous plots, right? So not having two plots, or as someone quite rightly pointed out, we can go up to three plots if we organize our schemes. Max hostile schemes plus one with our Castellan. Three hostile schemes simultaneously is a bit ridiculous. I don't know exactly what we'll quite do with that. We've already got a hook on Stannis, right? We do have a strong hook. Strong hook can be used again. Oh, on me. No, 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 no. That won't do at all. Um, can we fabricate a hook on Stannis the Manus himself? St fabricate hook? Excuse me? You do not have a hook on King Stannis. I don't. I'm already scheming. I'm already fabricating a hook. I'm ahead of myself. <laughs> okay. Um, well, look. We can get hooks maybe on... 
We could get a hook on the Lord of Rosby. I wonder if we could do something with that. Just because, of course, he's going to be a, 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 a way or a barrier specifically to gaining strong meat. And then in theory, we can get another hook at the same time. Just getting hooks on all the high lords would be quite good. It'd make yourself a lot of enemies. But having that as that repeated way to get some cash going. Maybe even forcing a very highborn marriage later on. Get fabricate clams on all of them. Then we can find a really, really good wife for Merrick. Ooh, okay. Uh, and then, of course, we should always be having a personal scheme as well. So is there a lady in our court who could be, uh, who could be sufficiently seduced? Let's have a look here. Um, probably not, because we've got such a tiny court. There's no one here. We could use a decision to search for one. Or we could just try and improve relations with someone. What do you think? Sway Stannis? Stannis already likes us a lot, because he knighted us. Friendly. Ah, but the thing is, he's a different religion. And given that we're a paranoid man, that could be enough. We, we clearly don't distrust him. Impatient, high taxes, he's hostile because he's red god. One true faith, so another minus five for those religious differences there. Cynical versus zealous, yeah. And he did blackmail us. I think there's a lot of reasons we wouldn't. I, I mean, swaying him is sure, is definitely manipulative, right? So try and win him over that way, even though we have no interest in being his friend. We could probably leverage him, uh, leverage it against him. I think that's a better idea than just than just going off and and seducing a random lady. That's a that's a lot of plots. That's a good amount of plots. So um, maybe we visit the brothel. Maybe we visit the brothel just to help lower this stress a little bit. I don't want my guy to die anytime soon. There we are. We're down to minus ten facility. Does this affect us at stress level two? No. So we can stay at stress level one. Still get that intrigue bonus without risk. We're still 50 intrigue. I think we're good. Without risking this guy dying another untimely death along with every other bloody character we've had. And I'm really curious what we can do with this spy network. The paranoid man building all these networks so he knows everything going on is so good. I really do like that. And again, it's, it's taking that lesson from Varys, right? A lot of people point out he was... Well, thank God we dropped that stress level. A lot of people point out he was literally one of Varys' little birds, given that Varys raised him and he was... A goshawk. Anyway, uh, Lord of Peasant. Hi, hello. It does not matter. In the end, again, as a paranoid man, I feel like too late for caution. Last time we asked him to do that, he cured us instantly, which is why we gave him that house. It's too late for caution. He's done it again. This guy is a goddamn legend. Oh, hover. My good friend. Uh, really, we should befriend him. Oh. Win over his friendship. Now, that is something that a paranoid person would absolutely probably want to do, right? Get him on our side, make him our best friend, and then he would never turn against us. And clearly he's got some clearly he's got some impressive medical skills. I think we should send him a gift at the very least. Oh, it's 52 gold. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, put him on my shortlist. Maybe we will have a chat with him after we're done trying to sway Stannis a little bit. Oh god, we've lost another spy. Anya. Annie, you idiot. And you revealed my involvement. Annie, you fool. Fabricate hook. Foul words. Of course, King Stannis. Uh, 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 this is terrible. Someone's been saying horrible rumors about you, and we are going to stand up and decry them as lies. Uh, look, we're going to annoy our... We're going to annoy our priest. It doesn't really matter. We lose 100 piety in exchange for getting Stannis in our pocket. I'm fine with that. It's only a weak hook, but that's something. Um, no, keep looking for those secrets. What I want to do is start looking for more spies as well, because our next perk... Oh, hello. So able to fetch a secret that Edrina believes in. I don't want the secrets of random lowborns, just random courtiers. Though they could be helpful with assassination plots and stuff like that against particularly hard to reach people. It's not necessary. I just want to build up that massive spy network because our next perk is our uh, instructed spies. Increase the probability of them finding secrets. So if we can just really stack the deck in our favor, this could be great. And we could potentially make a lot of money from this too. Let's have a look. Who have we got? Uh, hello. David Wendane. Hello, David Wendane. Would you like to be my spy, David Wendane? That would be lovely. I should contact him soon. He will accept with a plus one. Amazing. Thank you. And I'm just going to go around now, I think, for the next uh, 20 minutes and go ahead and check for spies absolutely ever. Because we can do this while it's paused. Storm Queen Ellen would like to be a spy, would she now? Am I going to have to bribe her? Or is she just... Oh, no, no, no. Don't give her a peck. Good God. Is this something that we can just go through immediately? Oh, she'll accept. She's deceitful. Our entry skill gives plus 100. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. Oh my god. Okay. Give me uh, give me a few minutes here and I'll go and have a look for some more spies. That is another spy over in the reach. Welcome. We'll just keep doing this over and over, I suppose, until there are no more. Is there a downside to taking... Oh my god. Look at you. His spy master. Whoa. 
Oh, oh, oh. I will absolutely do that. I wonder if I should be a bit more specific with who I'm going for. How do we know if we've got too many spies? Because it did say that there is a limit on who we can get. What I should be doing then is... Why don't we have a look at their court? Why don't we sort by um, rank, perhaps? Courtiers, court choosers. I'm looking for... Yeah, I want to just sort by, like, council. Sort by intrigue. Because, for the most part, the highest ranked person there could be our spy. A little bribe here and there probably wouldn't hurt. 50 gold? Yeah, okay, that's a little bit too much. But this could be a much better system of finding spies, I think. I was like, why can't I recruit this man as a spy? Already our spy. Oh, shit. We should check our network in a second then. Yeah, no, I think this is um, a significantly better method of doing things. They have to be courtiers, and there's a lot of like really good guests in these courts that we sadly can't do anything with. He's thrown his own wife in prison. What about your caravan master too? Maybe she could be quite good here. Um, recruit spies should not accept. I don't think I've got any spies up in the north, and that's potentially a lot of secrets we're leaving on the table, right? Um, recruit spies she won't accept. I'll try and get some people, and I presume the higher the... The intrigue they've got, the higher the, the, the likelihood they are to find secrets as a spy. Like, look, we could bribe his wife and get her on board pretty easily. Let's leave that for now, because I think I've picked up a whole bunch more. Oh, yes. Is that all? Ah, oh, sorry, they're just accepting. There we are. Much better. We're going to cast a wide net for the time being while we're doing a kind of very particular task, that fabricating uh, fabricating claims and everything like that. We'll just keep casting this very wide net, get, 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 get hooks and spies everywhere across all seven kingdoms well hello there justin a long evening of state business with justin has degenerated into both of us being deep in our cups it's our castell and court tutor knight and callous planner that's very nice uh we can i've just finished retelling the tale of uh of relating the natural proclivities of certain barbaric cultures when i see an untoward glint in my companion's eye Thoughts of blackmail race unbidden to my mind. Perhaps Just Justin is actually a little keener on the subject than he knows. I know a few other stories like that. Oh, Justin. 99% chance that Justin discovers a new hobby. <laughs> Justin becomes a deviant. Oh, well, that is very nice to have over our Castella, no? Okay. Um, oh, you can't find any secrets of Stannis' court. Let's move you over then. Let's move you over to somewhere else. Uh, we we've had very good luck in the region Dawn. Ah, uh, let's take you up to the rock. Let's see what's in Castelli Rock, then. Why not? Oh, lover exposes scheme. Someone's trying to murder me? The ex murder, murder you scheme was exposed. Was it really? Discover secret schemes. Murder you. So we know it exists, but we don't know who's doing it or why. They're not, they're not going to succeed. They will actually never get this. In that case, uh, Spy Master, if you don't mind, if I could put you on... Disrupt sch schemes. Let's see if we can figure out who's doing this. Yeah, now that's probably slightly more important. He's a paranoid man, okay? He's not going to take finding secrets over this. My agents have made contact with Bonner for a servant in Renly's castle. Ruin his reputation. No, no, no. We don't need that. We don't need that at all. Trust in Anserek. Scheme has been discovered against uh, Lord Benfrey. I'm not really worried too much. 41% success chance. Ugh. If we swap her over, if we swap her over very briefly to the end, will that work? That seems like min-maxing. I don't like that. Um, many contacts. We potentially become friends with Jane Baratheon. Scheme plow plus 30. Scheme success chance plus 10%. Uh, scheme power plus 30, though. Good God. Um, I think we'll take flat success chance in this case. Oh, and would you look at that? I have prowled through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance, and I have finally enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the lordship of Strongmead. Well, of course, see it done. 45 gold done, but what shall we do now? So we ha we do have to declare war on Lord Benfrey. Can I use this hook for any way to uh, potentially get our land? Demand payment. Offer a score. No, 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 no. Um, modify, modify vassal contracts. Demand council position actually could be very, very powerful, of course. Um, I'm sure we pay me. It's like 100 and, yeah, 190. That's not really worth it. Let's tick petition leech. And then we can petition him to, what, grant a claim? None of your claims are held by your leash. They cannot be afforded to put with a sisal. Oh, no. Um, we could petition him just for... We could petition him just for a council appointment, which he probably will accept, right? Okay. So we can't do that, which is unfortunate. Oh! Merrick has shown the curiosity of his ancestor and is growing up to be a child of House Gosshawk. That's good. He's cynical. I don't know if that is necessarily good for a... Certainly not bad for a, uh, a stewardship-based character. It's not a bad trait at all. You're becoming a bit of a weird hybrid character there. 
It's very, very broad skills in everything. Oh, come on. Why does this keep happening right at the end? God damn, you scheme discovered. I feel like we're getting so unlucky with these hooks. His spy was discovered. Honestly, we can't trust anybody. We really just can't trust anybody. My agents have made contact with Galria, a servant in Edmund's castle. We can start doing some whispers about the River King, or we could start something here instead. Oh, good. Yes, lay with Galria. Oh, he's no longer overwhelmed by stress. That's good. <laughs> Play the character, after all. The error is caught searching in the secrets. Uh, oh, a spy in our court. Interesting. Could we recruit the spy? Who sent you? We recruit the enemy spy. Amazing. Uh, the scheming has to stop. Yes. We'll just recruit her as a spy instead. Oh, my God. Fabricate claim uh, has been uncovered. Sorry, Fabricate hook has been uncovered, but it's still 90% success chance. Oh, Edna. Edna, you are a moron. I'm going to stop swaying, Stannis. Because I think H Hother deserves it. Here, Hother. Get swayed. Get swayed. He saved our life too much. He's got a strong hook on us, though. He's got a loyalty hook. Oh, maybe we don't need to worry about that. Hmm. What else am I going to do with my personal schemes, though? I think there's really a massive amount. We could start swaying people at... We could sway Lord Benfrey of Rosby. Hmm. This is what this is. This I think is the best use for our hook. We could become master of whisperers. Natural dread plus forty. Hostile scheme power plus twenty. Hostile scheme success chances up by eight percent, and we get twenty percent extra intrigue lifestyle experience. Cannot be fired. Oh Lord, Tommen. We could clear the way, so to speak. We just like clear the way for us to take over, because that hook on Lord Renly is going to fall through. So I think we uh, get rid of Lord Tommen, and then we see if we're approached to join the council. If not, we could just muscle our way on regardless. Uh, would, would a paranoid man want to be in the highest spy mastery position of the realm? That's a, that's a very good point, isn't it? Um, Who is this? Tiora Furshaw. Is she anybody? No, no, I'm not interested. Listen, I want actual things I can use here. Things that I can use against... Oh! Lord Reynard has died. Oh, how terribly tragic. Goodbye, Lord Reynard. What a, what a terrible shame that is. Okay. Do we want to move on some territory? Because I feel like I'm just here spinning my wheels. I feel like I'm not doing anything of any value. Well, we've got that lifestyle perk. So let's give it a go then. Because I mean, look, if it's going to take a long time to get a spider, we could just swap to diplomacy and we could start working on that artifact. This guy isn't particularly greedy though or anything to that effect. Structed spies. Yes, please. What does convincing do? Characters are generally more willing to spy for you. That sounds fun, because then we could start getting people's wives, children, close family members, that type of thing. Um, lady Beatrice would like to win over my heart. You flatter me, my lady. Please, by all means, carry on. Uh, Tiora tries to protect a secret. This is Tiora. Uh, this, this lady again. Oh, I'm not interested. And Stannis is under attack from her right there. Um, yes, the rebels will pay dearly. <laughs> uh, yeah, King Stannis gets enough men. That's okay. You have a secret that Adrena possesses. Is she not my spy? I'm not interested in that. Ooh. Hello. Everyone gets naked sometime. The hard part is ensuring that the troop of jugglers enter the chambers at just the right time. There are enough servants around to speculate about the ensuring chaos. Send in the entertainments. Okay. 150 prestige for a hook on Edma. That's pretty good. Uh, we've, we've still got that hook on the... We haven't got a hook on the reach. They started fabricating claims on our lands before. So I think getting that sorted and solved would be lovely. Lord Giles has 38 men. Lord Giles has 38 men, does he now? Oh, Lord Giles. Oh, Lord Giles. I've been looking to expand my domain and you happen to have <laughs> four times my holdings. Oh, this could work well. Hello, Gwaine. Lord Renly's wife is here with a secret with Gwen Shearer. Who? No, I'm not interested in that. Thank you. Oh, God. Okay, Sibella. She's a guest of Edma. No, thank you. I'm okay. Oh, dear. Lord Tommen, the wilderness is such a dangerous place, my friend. 82% chance that he dies. Then we can work our way onto the council. Oh, no. How terrible. As the travel party stops to camp for the evening, bandits poured out from among the trees, calling for blood and gold. The soldiers fought back, but thankfully it was not enough. Lord Tommen was tragically slain in the melee. Perhaps the commoners aren't so useless after all. Uh, what do you want? Adrena? No, thank you. It's all good. So now, I'll have a chat with my good friend Stannis and ask if he would be willing to give me a cat. We could offer to join his war, even though we're already in his war and he's going to win it. Stannis becomes your friend! <laughs> oh, manipulation. We enjoy that. Oh, we've gained a lot of opinion for Stannis, though, now that we're friends. 
I feel like that's, uh, I feel like that Anseric is the type of guy who wouldn't be, I, I feel like he probably doesn't put much stock in bonds, familiar or friendship, you know? Certainly didn't have a problem with that when those bodies started piling up, huh? Uh, here, I'd really like a council position, actually, uh, Stannis. And you seem to have a vacant spymaster position. You cannot be fired for 25 years. Oh, oh, isn't that very convenient? So those give us those benefits, right? For being on my liege's council. That is really good. That is a massive amount of power we've been given. And we should see it We should see it like that. Sure, he might be paranoid that he is now in a, a very sought-after high position in the realm. But he also has eyes absolutely everywhere. He knows everything that's going on in the realm at this point. You are right there and not part of this war. Interesting. Okay. Would it not be wonderful if Lord Benfrey owed me not out of fear, but out of gratitude? 25 gone and we got a hook on Rosby. That's good. Can I do anything with that? Uh... Possibly very much not. Instigate a revolt. We get Stannis to revoke all his titles and we get strong me back that way. Ooh, that sounds fun. <laughs> okay, I could see that. I'm going to start swaying Stannis' wife. We should always be looking upwards, I think. So let's start uh, winning her over as well. So we've got the favor of the king and the queen. They notice my energy from across the bar and they think, I, I, they think I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a great guy. Hello. Oh, damn you. Damn you, King Joffrey. We'll get him. We'll get him. That's not that's not essential, right? That's, again, uh, protection from what they've tried to do previously. Hello. Um, Gerald tries to protect... I don't really care about that. Thank you. I'm not sure how useful these spies might end up being. I, they are going to be very useful if, say, for example, we were trying to plot against our direct liege. We ended up recruiting five or six spies in court. We can use the secrets that they bring to get hooks on courtiers that will help us with plots, right? That, that could be a use for it. Maybe spreading a wide net for lots of different spies isn't super useful because it's a lot of kind of it's a lot of secrets on courtiers not so much on lords and ladies but that's okay hello a falcon a guard approached me with a falcon in tow i found this creature wandering in the garden what should we do with it of course we shall gain a falcon hunting birds that says a cat that's okay um that is a cat i'm gonna name the cat falcon to really add a level of confusion what a great name. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I think we may be stuck in a little bit of a loop here. It's trying to name my falcon, but it thinks it's a cat. Okay, stand by. I can fix this. Good news. I couldn't fix it, and I don't know what happened, but that's okay. We're fine. I, I just reloaded back to the last. Also, save it. Oh, you uncovered that fucking plot already. God damn you. Okay, we've got one agent in his court. Hamona. Do you think we can win his wife over? Would you like to be my spy wife? No? Uh, let's have a look for other people in this court then and see if they'd be willing to uh, perhaps join us. If I recruit them as spies, I don't think that guarantees that they'll join us as agents because it's basically just mood, uh, 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 opinion specific, right? Um, yeah. Let's see what happens. Ooh! Hidden knowledge! Maintaining a spy network across the realm on behalf of King Stannis has its perks. Frequently discover things I'm not even looking for. Evidence of Lord Wendemere's secret, for example. I don't need to share that. I need to share that. And then we could just maybe... Oh, excellent. Stannis won his war. What a shocker. There you go. So... Oh, he did immediately join the plot. Oh, well, that's a bloody powerful tool, isn't it? Are we camped at 70% now? Scheme is exposed to minus 15. Um, 40%. And then a plus 47%. Okay, yep. 25. Are we are we camped at max 70? Okay, yep. <laughs> I see that now. Might have been a quick, bit quicker to read that rather than trying to do the maths on it, huh? We can petition our liege. I, I don't really know what we'd... Petition him for. Let's give it a go. Why not? Uh, fortify board and urbanize county. He would fund a city holding. Ooh. That might be quite nice. Would he do that? He might. We're, we're very good friends and he does owe us a favor. Sod it. Let's give it a go then. Let's give it a go. We didn't need that mountain traveler, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, let's head out. My God, this could be amazing. Oh no, an animal attack. Just as we got into the court. It must have been one of his pets. Um, force the locals to give us supplies, buy supplies from the locals, except our losses. Either way, we're gaining stress. 20 gold we simply can't afford. Just forget about the rations. I'm escorted to King Stannis' throne room, where he beckons me to approach and address him. Lay out the arguments for development of the settlement of Ashcross in Lord of Briarcrest, listing the benefits. After listening to my speech, he sits in silence for several moments as he mulls my petition over. You make some good arguments, but if I'm to agree with your request, I will need something in return. Surely you can see that it will benefit us both if we come to an arrangement. Um, my king, perhaps I explained it poorly. Or a fair offer, I accept. He wants to give us feudal levies. That is basically no cost whatsoever. 
<laughs> that is basically no cost whatsoever to us. Are you kidding? I'm pushed to my No, fair offer. I accept. That is fantastic news. So he's just going to build a city in Ashcroft. Very good. And we're home. We can go back inside again. Oh, well, that's very handy. Okay, well, we're looking at some good land expansion today then, huh? If we abduct his heir before we go to war with him, that sets uh, a baseline of war score, right? Or at least it did in CK2. I'm not sure about CK3. Um, because his, oh, his heir is just another bloody fray. Lord of the Crossing. Oh, God. That's like fray. That's like the main fray. Oh, dear. Um, if the realm, so, so hang on. If the Lord of Rossby dies, it goes to House Frey, which would then become Riverlands. Do you think Stannis might take that back? Trying to become Lord of Rosby. That would be, that'd be, a, that'd be a nice flex. That'd be a good upgrade. Or alternatively, we start small and go from there. I think we abduct our neighbor, Lord Giles' daughter, grab her, and then we do a little expansion that way. Now, bear in mind, I did say that Merrick is going to be our, our, our steward-based character, right? We've got to give this kid a realm to rule. Because right now, we are in a very flimsy place. We've got one territory, and I think a paranoid answer it would realize... This is horrible. You know, we're in, a, we're in a pretty terrible situation. We've been threatened before. So I'd like to make sure that we're not in a position where we could just be wiped off the face of the earth. Ooh, a hunt with Stannis. Interesting. Where is it? Where the hell are we having this hunt? You're going all the way to... No way. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, shall I? Should I? I don't think we should. I think I'm going to decline the invitation. Sorry, Stannis. We're in the middle of, like, a lot of stuff right now. We've got a lot of, lot of plots in all sorts of different directions going on. Oh, Branta. Sweet Branta has become an elusive shadow. 23, intrigue. What about intelligent? Did she actually get that? Is that going to be revealed at some point? Maybe it's only revealed when she turns 18 or something like that. I'm not sure. Either way, Liara Summerbeam could be swapped out for Branta Goshawk. Oh... Liera has secrets over us, so really we should just get rid of her. We should really get rid of her the old-fashioned way. Okay, um, yeah, I think I might do that. I, I, what, what, what plots have we got going on right now? We're getting the hook on King Joffrey, which is, again, kind of a defensive play. The Rebellion on Lord Benfra is important, and then we're abducting Lady Zia, which is quite helpful. I don't want to really mess around with all those plots. So we've got four months before the plot on King Joffrey will either work or not, at which point we'll start to work on clearing out our spy masters. Get rid of the people who have the plots on us, as a, as a paranoid man probably would. Shouldn't be long now. Oh, scheme, scheme restarts is zero pro. All right, whatever. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. We've got bigger fish to fry. We get rid of our current spy master, get our family member in there. They're more trustworthy. They can start gaining some skills. It's good for the dynasty after all. You can die. Did you just clear... Oh, you cleared my abduction plot. Why would it do that? No. No. Why did it overwrite my abduction plot when I had a free fucking scheme? Did I accidentally cancel it? Um, is this gaslighting? No. No. That's fine. We got more troops. Okay, we got more troops. When it comes down to it, we can we can make this happen. Hello. Oh, would you look at that? We got a claim on our neighbor's province. How lovely. How lovely. How kind. Uh, my daughter can marry. She can. We can designate a guardian for her. What you good at? Learning. Well, she's on learning, so she's stuck there now. Uh, That's what I've what I've chosen. Though, so I'm not that bothered. Um, educate her. He does have quite a good learning, right? 12. He does not have a good learning. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Someone else please educate this child because I feel like I've made a, made a terrible mistake here. I need to be focusing more on um, the air. I need to be focusing on the air as well. Oh, God. Wait, what? These are children. No, 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 no. I want to educate the fucking child. I want to change the guardian game. Hother. Hother we know is a trustworthy, incredible man. So he can absolutely take the reins on that one. My daughter can marry. Who can she marry to? We can marry to someone with high intrigue, or we could just try and get a good alliance out of it. Um, Lord Stefan. Would I be willing to marry my daughter to a 53-year-old man? Ugh. It is the done thing. Where is he if we had to call him in for war? Pretty convenient, actually. Pretty convenient. Strongstone is a little bit further away. Coldmoat is a little bit further away. I'm sorry, daughter. I'm sorry, daughter. I, I, I'm I gonna have to do it. He's very, very good. We could retake... We could take Rosby with that. Hmm. Uh, Edma can't afford to pay me off. I, I'm gonna have to cash out on some things here. Just so that we can pay off the debt. Thank you, Hover. Much appreciated, my friend. 
What a beautiful carving. A servant discreetly uh, drops a package next to me. I yawn, barely enjoying this woeful feast. I open it, and inside is an awkwardly carved, rather, f uh, rather flatteringly endowed woman form, bent into a seductive pose. Um, how disgusting. She looks simply delicious. I mean, of course, he would do that. Wait, Liara's Sunbeam's daughter. Hold on. Is this Anserik's daughter? She's 16. No, this is... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm, I'm absolving myself preemptively here. He is a lustful, rackish man. There is one option here that makes sense for the character. There are two options. Well, there, there are two factors, which is why this one makes sense. I think public viewing is in order. Oh, no. She she loses opinion, obviously. No! Ugh! Ugh! I don't like this. Is she his daughter? Oh, this is making me feel all sorts of all sorts of weird things. Willow Summerbeam is your Ill illegitimate child out of wedlock. This is dastardly, but I have no choice. I I have no choice. She does look simply delicious. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, that's not okay. That's not okay. But these things happen. Maybe he forgot. Oh, but the fact that he knew is just horrendous. But he was rakish and lustful. Oh, I hate everything about that that just occurred. Okay, move on. Move on. We've got an alliance with Lord Stefan the Woodpecker. So now if Rosby get on my nerves, we could send them. And in fact, speaking of sending them, maybe I'll send my Septum back to go claim the rest of it. Ooh. So. Wings pass. Certified banger. We could just take that. We can just take that. And he can't do a damn thing to stop us. He became our rival. We've had many rivals, okay? We've had many rivals. You're on the list. Just die. Look at this. Start. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so it wasn't my fault. We have two available schemes. Starting a hostile scheme will abandon the scheme and instigate a rebellion. Why will it? Did our Castellan change? Am I going insane? Stop your role? Justin Lynchfield. Am I going insane? Did his intrigue drop? And now he's infirm. His intrigue dropped so he couldn't provide us the Max Hellstyle scheme bonus anymore. Ah. Right, that makes sense. Okay. Um, forget it then. We murder Liara Summerbeam. We swap our spy master out. We we instigate the rebellion. We get those done. Then we'll kill our rival. Then we'll kill our rival. Um, we could probably just beat him with our own levies right now, to be fair. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here. We will call in our ally, because we are relying heavily on that. Call him to war. Uh, Gerald, don't really care. It's your right. Don't really care. Right, join me. Sorry, I'm trying to repress the hiccups here. It's the idea of actually making some sort of money in this game. It's, it's very exciting. <laughs> Should we go for Wings Pass? Hello. Why did they come back and attack us? There were 5,000 people there. Well, that's a good start. We're up to 50% war score. And now we just sit here. Oh, she died. She didn't just die. I'm about- Oh, God, this is a horrible plot point, but I love it. What a great story. I'm about to leave the dining hall and return to my chambers when I spot my lover, Liara, chatting with my wife in the corner. Liara turns around to greet me, unwittingly leave herself exposed to Lucia. Yet, perhaps realizing the looming danger, Liara immediately turns back to Lucia, twisting her wrist and stabbing her with her own dagger. I did it for us, Liara claims, glancing at me with a twinge of regret, so that we could be together. This is a mess. Answer it, you have made a horrendous mess. The lustful, rather mentally questionable man. He did test poisons on his lover. He clearly has something something wired wrong upstairs. Maybe even downstairs, too. And now his lover has slain his wife. His wife that was also his half-sister, but he didn't know that, unlike his daughter slash lover. Oh, God. <laughs> um, the court will know what she tried to do. I cannot let this go unpunished. Guards. Wow, that deals with one of our problems quite spectacularly, doesn't it? Oh, that deals with one of our problems quite spectacularly. I think we just leave her there. I think we just leave her there because that that fate is fate's gonna deal with her. Are we lovers with her daughter slash? Oh my god, he can marry her. That would be awful. Would he do that? Is that the type of thing he'd do? He doesn't need to. They're already lovers. She's not that impressive. She's not an impressive lady, so don't worry about it. Oh, poor Lucia. Oh, God, he's actually quite upset about that. My dear Lucia Hill shuffled off this mortal coil. What would I give for just one more day with her? 
My hall feels empty, and yet I must tarry in this place. Perhaps this sadness is a dull time. Oh, well, dull with time. I'm a soldier on without her. Is he beca he's become widows. Oh, he was actually quite upset about that. Oh, God. It's okay. Just go to the brothel. Just go. No, don't take a fucking vow of poverty. You never do that. Go to the brothel. We haven't got the coin for the brothel. This is a sad time. Thank God his 16-year-old daughter is at court. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, the problem is by marrying off our daughter now, I've, I've lost a very good... What happened to you? Scarred? Why? What happened? What? What happened? Well, I've lost a very good spy master, but I could still recruit her as a spy. Oh, I like that. What is that as well? Mark is captive. Mark is captive to break all marriages and concubines and add them to your court during a war to free captives. Oh, if, if she's forcefully married by someone. Right. Well, we don't need to do that. Oh, God. Okay. We've unlocked a new entry perk. This story has gone to dark, disgusting places. We're really, truly in the mind of the disgusting Lord Answerit right now. He's a vile piece of shit, but you know what? I'm loving every second of it. Characters are generally more willing to spy for you. Yes, they are. We are very convincing and very charismatic. Characters are willing to do a lot for him, apparently. I don't know if he's got some sort of silver tongue, some sort of magic gaze. God knows. Some sort of telepathy. Very bizarre. Hello. I've been corresponding with your Chancellor, Hother, and it's been a shameful diplomatic display. You're not the man I thought you were. Uh, have him killed. No, we don't need to kill him. It's okay. Um, I do want to kill you, though, when we're done with this war. It's only a 20% chance because we're at war, right? It's, uh... What did that just replace? Nothing. Added it to the list. Oh, thank God. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, Spymaster, we need to find someone new, and we need to find someone good. I guess I could start searching for more caravan masters and more court tutors in the hopes that one eventually turns up with some passable skill and intrigue. Maria Shearer, 11, or Harold Redwick. They're both terrible. They failed to impress me. You have 11. You have 13. Uh, John's aptitude is poor, but he's something. I don't want to replace him as a caravan master. I just want him in my court. Could I just, could I just straight up invite him now? Honestly, none of these choices are adequate. I'm going to go to the carrots finder and I'm just going to dig someone up. We're going to find someone. Can we say uh, they, like, like a wanderer? Let's search all. We want to say within diplomatic range, right? That would be very helpful. Inside diplomatic range. Can I say, uh, like, unemployed or something like that? Marital status. Authority and heritage. Um, not, not a ruler. Like, unlanded is fine. Or not ruler is probably even better to go for. Thank you. Uh, Tanessa. The beautiful Tanessa. Oh, dear. Uh, what if I bribe her? Minus 40. Oh, that's a shame. I'm just going to go through this list until we eventually find... We could just kidnap a spy master. Though, to be fair, they've kind of failed the test, haven't they? <laughs> if we manage to pull that off. Okay, so after a little hunting, I found someone called Gretchen. We'll have to bribe her. It's 42 gold. She's got 29 intrigue, and she is a beautiful lady. Which I think is very much in Anserix's wheelhouse. We could even just straight marry her. We could just straight up marry her. A beautiful lady with a big brain on her shoulders. I think you'd like that. Or we just take her as a lover. Okay. We could do that for sure. Let's uh, start swaying her for a start. Forget about swaying uh, the, the Queen of the Iron Throne. Who cares? Make her a spy master because she is insanely good. Have her help with our hostile schemes. I don't think we need her. That is very, very helpful. Win her over? Seduce her? Why can't we seduce her? You're already scheming against her. I should have just seduced her instead of trying to sway her. Well, let's just do that instead. That makes more sense. We can't seduce her. Why? She's not in our court yet. Oh, okay. Fair enough then. We'll wait a while. Hello. Oh, this is my war. Sorry. Carry on. <laughs> Live your life. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting a little confused with all these, these many things we've got going on. Uh, Leech won the war with Lord Jeremy. Gretchel's in our court. Gretchel. Hello. Madam. You are more beautiful than I could have imagined. Get lovered. No, my dog has died. Do I skin it? Oh, that's always the question when your dog dies, isn't it? Uh, I lose 16. No, no, no. I can't afford it. I cannot afford to skin my dog. The power of words. John stands before me, a servant of the false Lord Giles. Now, I want to do you to do something for me. And, in, uh, and you will be reasonably compensated, of course. Um, keep the doors of the castle open for me. No. Run back to your master. You lose two gold. My dog's health declined. Yeah, so it did. It's time to uh, for a break from Merrick's routine lesson plan. I think it may be a good time to pass along some values. Learning or intrigue, but it will 
stress my guy out. I, I think we've got to do it. He gained learning. That's good. That's fine. And it stressed him to the point that it's not like a, a real critical big problem. Liera died. The person in our uh, our previous spy master. You know, the guy that uh, the, the lady that our guy slept with that then ended up having a child with and then ended up sleeping with. Yeah, you know how it goes. Amorous understanding. In pursuit of Gretchel's affection, it would be very helpful to know what her tastes and preferences are. This isn't even a challenge. Because we are a schemer, we can just immediately pass that and get the best outcome. Very nice. And speaking of best outcome, I believe we've just expanded our domain by four times the size. Enforced demands. Thank you. So the charming answer it. Damn your seventh grandfather. How dare you say that about my seventh grandfather. Let's make sure he dies. Disband all the troops and let's get those notifications gone. Beautiful. Hey, that's better. Holy crap. Much nicer. Uh, and then we'll still kill Lord Giles, who's a nobody now, so that should be quite easy. But I know we don't have our plots either. Could we swap that lady out to be our Castellan? Oh, we actually have some alright vassals now. Okay. Justin Lynchfield, I'm sorry, you are gone. Master Baron, was it? Um, poor oh God. 15% monthly intrigue lifestyle experience. It's not massive, but it's something, eh? Let's get him organizing schemes then. Gretchel is on... Um, let's get you on disrupt schemes, Gretchel. And then we need a wife. Now, we could marry for... I, I think... There's an argument this guy's doing it for his house, right? It could be personal revenge. And I think a lot of it was personal revenge motivated. But Varys was a man, uh, particularly in the books, who wanted certainly order... And there's, of course, that whole plot of, I suppose, like, book spoilers, the whole Blackfire plot where he needed a united Iron Throne. He wanted it to be stable. He wanted a good dynasty in control of that to keep the realm nice and nice and solid, right? I think Varys could have quite possibly instilled some of those beliefs. Into, why can you marry your own daughter? What? We arranged a marriage for our daughter. No, no, no. You need to arrange a marriage. Oh, he's still widowed. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, of course. Um, we could find a lady from across the realm and just bring her in. But right now, without that marriage, we're missing out on a massive amount of intrigue. So it actually might make more sense just to marry that woman we brought to court already. But there are other potential candidates out there. Let's crack open the character finder again. If we go for um, unmarried, that would be useful. Unmarried. And then that Tinessa lady is right at the top of the list. These are clearly event spawn characters. Lucifer Shadow Seduction is beautiful. God knows what it's from, but they are all... She is insanely good, right? Uh, she likes us more. Could we just, like, marry you maybe one day? I'll keep her on the short list. Because if we marry her, we get half her stats. That would be, uh, insane. That would be nuts. We'll wait until my guy is, is, you know, happy to move on. Giles will be honored by such a gift. A plush and exotic carpet, which doesn't cost us anything, which is very bizarre. This game's very arbitrary between what, uh, what... Oh, who is this? Mistress Rayella. Rayella, uh, Coptinion. A Valyrian name, if I've ever heard one. Hi, Valyrian. Okay, fair enough. Poet, slow, fornicator. Um, she's written a, a poem dedicated to me. She's Stannis' core poet, I would assume. Otherwise, who the hell is she? <laughs> anyway, um, how cruel of mistress is random chance to cast him aside with nary a glance, alone, breath, without that sweet man. We want, we wander, wondering where the hurt began. Um, Rayella, this is lovely. This is truly heartfelt. Thank you. And the poem is lauded. That's fantastic news. Now, we're going to have to take some cash here. Um, we can ransom Stefan for 100 gold. Damn. Okay. Uh, Lord Benfrey of Rosby. I think I'm going to get him to pay out now. And the reason I'm going to get him to pay out now is I'm, I'm going to just keep trying on that rebellion over and over and over. We can wait on Lord Edmund. We're not desperate for money anymore, of course. You can pardon your lover, Willow Sunbeam. I hate it. You can pardon your lover and daughter. Yeah, okay, go on then. Um, we can appoint a worthy successor to the Hawk Guard. Here you are. Welcome. And now we need to start bringing some peace and prosperity to our new empire. So let's go for county control, if you don't mind there, fella. This is so good. I'm very happy with what we've achieved today. What we've achieved today is, is chaos and some rather disgusting activities. But again, and in theory, this could be the cherry on the cake today, right? 70% chance that we get a revolt here with... The Lord of Rosby. And if we pull this off, it sets us up very nicely to potentially be named High Lord of Rosby. We have so many claims on it, after all. Excellent. After tensions between a vassal and their leader have reached a baking point, you've successfully instigated a revolt. The vassal is in open rebellion against their former ruler. It's up to you to decide how to handle the situation. Now, in theory... 
Oh, my daughter wants to... Oh, God, yes. No, no, no. We've got to send this, this child off to go and do stuff, right? Influence his personality. We can give him impatient or paranoid. Ooh, 100% chance we give him paranoid. That could be good. Okay. What do you mean instigate revolt invalidated? Why? No, he's still in revolt, though. I wonder if the plot was cancelled because he went into revolt. Maybe that's it. Um, do we need to go to the brothel? Not really right now, actually. We're, we're kind of okay. Yeah, is there anything I can do for this child? Because people keep saying I need to send them off to go and learn. Our child study language. No valid targets. Oh, we haven't got anybody, really. Send to the city child. Can I send the child off to university? Is that an option? Obviously, he's a bit young, but eventually it would be great. Well, that's okay. Did he actually gain that? Sorry, did I not try and give him a, a, a thing? Uh, uh, paranoid. Clearly, it didn't work. Anyway, um, just captured my essence on parchment. Your fearlessness is like stars in the sky. I only wish to go adventure with you that I may know the depths of your love. Um, sure. Thank you, madam. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, it worked. There we are. I was waiting for the follow-up. I approached my son Merrick with a question. Whom do you trust most? Of course, you, he dutifully replies. Then believe me when I say, in the court, we are always being watched. Listen for the whispers behind your back. Don't even, don't even trust me. A face darkens a nearby window. Quick, I hiss. Get behind me, boy. Merrick darts to my protection, revealing a cleverly hidden dagger. That's my boy. Amazing. Uh, great. Fantastic. You begin to understand one another, and he begins to grow more alike to you. So maybe he already had that deep within him. We're just kind of, we're kind of bringing it out of him, so to speak. Amazing. 10 Intrigue. I know I'm training him to be a stewardship character, but why not both? Intrigue and stewardship do go hand in hand in, in arguably quite a lot of ways. Imagine how much money we could have made if I was capitalizing on every single one of these hooks when we had the option to. Uh, madam, you will be our lover. Spymaster lover seems kind of dangerous. We've already had problems with that, but that's okay. Or I suppose having just many lovers in court is problematic, but that's so core to my guy's personality. I'm not just gonna just gonna ignore it, you know? Honestly, it'd be kind of cool if in that event where our wife was murdered by a lover, we had the opportunity to you know, kind of change our ways. The characters aren't particularly malleable. They don't really, they're not really reactive, more so that the stress is a, <sighs> the, the, the stress is a way for the player to have a little agency while keeping it balanced within the character's personality, right? But the characters never seem particularly reactive themselves. Um, what do you want? Sorin Pollard's non-believer secret. No, thank you. We're okay. The beating. What in the world has happened to my son, Merrick? He's all bruised and beaten. He refused to name who did this. Was it another child? Did he pass through a noble to the point of fury? As so much as a pin drops, Merrick will be running for safety in an empty closet. He seems to be in constant fear. Oh, God. Craven, you pushed him too far, you stupid old man. Keeps the trait Craven. Craven is lower prowess, lower martial. But his schemes are up massively, and his travel safety is up massively. It's simple to the worshippers of the Seven. Void people, and you will be safe. What about Shy instead? Hostile scheme resistance. Lower diplomacy. Neither affect his, his uh, stewardship. Let's keep Craven then. I, I like this as a side effect. Kind of a ripple of what's occurred after basically uh, having someone appear in a window and threaten him. Kind of shock him into becoming paranoid. This is, this is your own fault. And now, Giles. Giles is going to enjoy some wine in my basement. And we're going to wall him up. Second time we've done that. You think people would start to become uh, suspicious. For a living our rival, we gain 150 prestige. Very good. We've dealt with all our rivals today. Today, right? God damn you, Hiccups. My biggest rival of all. Another ward. Um, not really anybody worth going for. I just need to keep an eye on this kid and make sure that I'm doing everything for him at the time. Because right now he's very mediocre. He's a very good steward. Uh, sorry, he's a very good entry character, which is not what we need. Thank you. Search for a court tutor. Uh, honestly, we're fine now. We've kind of got that. We've kind of got that solved, actually. So how's Rosby? What happened with Rosby? They're still at war. Can I? I'm gonna offer to join his war, and then maybe. Uh, yes, yes, yes. That one, I think. Yes, let's do it. I'll join your war against those filthy, filthy bastards in Rosby. My spy was discovered. Whatever. I was kind of hoping we could fabricate the claim before we did that, and I could have held off on it, but I didn't want to just lower the scheme for. Basically, no reason. I think Stannis has probably got this one in the bag. I don't think there's any chance of us fabricating the claim before this is over. Um, well, uh, someone called Joshua's Deviant Secret. I'm okay, thank you. And there we are. We've seduced our spy master, Gretchel. Very good. Um, well, that's fine. That was easy, right? That was very easy. Again, we could marry her if we wanted to, but that's okay. She's a different religion. We cause complications, right? We cause complications. Well, we're at 100% war score. And there we are. Whoa, hold. Revoke his titles, Stannis. Revoke his titles. Do it. Take them off of him. Take Rosby. Give it to me. Give it to me, Stannis. 
do we still have the hook on Stannis? We don't because we forced our way into the council, right? Let's get another hook on Stannis then. If anything, we could we could we could manipulate our contracts and and put it massively in our favor, right? Low taxes, low troops, everything. That way, we've got some bargaining chips for in the future. Hello, um, Tristan would allow you to become Steward's Squire. Tristan to become. Your steward squire. Great. Okay. I don't really mind. Like, if we can find a squiring. Can we not take this kid on as a squire? Because we're a knight. Right? Uh, take on a squire. Where is that? Maybe we don't get the option. Ah, oh, educate squire. Would you look at that? Well, that's good. I'm glad I found that option. Train your squire. Yes. Train the squire. The problem is, um, our guy's not a very good fighter. It doesn't exactly run in the family, right? Train chivalry. Ooh, train strategy, train horsemanship or, or, or swordsmanship. Let's go for chivalry then. I feel like our guy's particularly, he's not particularly chivalrous, but clearly he has some charisma about him. Let's go for that. Merrick and I practiced our chivalry today. After all, chivalry is required to be a knight. During our training session, Merrick demonstrated excellent chivalrous behavior. I'm pleased to see how he's embraced the concepts I taught him. Great. Two experience in knighthood. Ooh, wow. You're supposed to get 10 experience there. Jesus, that's massive. Most likely is going to get five. Okay. And then what? When he hits, the highest level, he just becomes a knight. An excellent training session. I don't know how much that is. Seems like a very small amount, but who knows? It could be could be out of a hundred. So Stannis did not revoke the Sisals. Did he revoke anything from him at all? Nothing. Nothing in the least. What was the side effects of that, I wonder? I don't think there's any way for us to tell, is there? Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, look, Rosby has been massively weakened. We have more troops with our allies than he does now. And he's in the middle of another war. We've just basically strewn chaos throughout his realm. And any second now, we can capitalize on that if we so want to. The Lordship of Rosby. We take Rosby and Strongmead. Problem is, we're, we're almost at our domain limit, aren't we? And he's distracted with another war. I think we could probably swoop in and grab it at this point. I don't even want Rosby. I want Strongmead, but we could press everything. So there's almost no reason not to. Problem is, we need to become a High Lord pretty rapidly at that point, though. So we try and take the rest of Rosby as well. We just slowly push him up and, and take the lot. Honestly? Yeah. Yeah, I think we do. <laughs> I said we were taking back Strongmead. I intend to follow up on that. So, um, I can pardon my love of Gretchel. Oh, of course. She's not a she's not a deviant. She's not a disgusting lady. The Septon is gonna pay for it. Thank you, High Septon. I appreciate that. Let's call on our ally too, if you don't mind. This is the last time we can call them in, right? Um, I can scarce remember what my life was like before Beatrice declared her love for me. I'm flattered. Uh I want to be with her no matter what. She deserves a kiss at least for her devotion. Yes. There, we'll give her a little a little kiss, because I'm sure we can find someone better than that. One fateful evening, I wandered the expensive gardens at Briarcrest, my thoughts drifting to the Lady Beatrice, who is very unwell, who should then appear as if summoned but Lady Beatrice herself. The one approached me from the shadows as if from a dream, took my hand and together, hit my hand, and together we walked through the gardens and talked of many things. The stars, the flowers, our past and future, I barely remember. I felt enraptured by the sound of her voice and her by mine. Wretched by the sound of her voice and her by mine. Yes, that's what we meant. By the time we've discovered the loveliest brook in the secluded glotto, we were in love. And we're just going to have the kiss. That's it. We're just going to have the kiss. Stick to that. Okay, are you coming to join my troops? Because that'd be quite handy. And then while he's distracted, we swoop in. Bubonic plague. Oh, no. Willow waters. Oh, God, she's pregnant. Oh, well, maybe this is for the best then. How is she not? She's got the plague. Oh, God, hopefully she dies. Because this is a disgusting outcome. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't look. Don't look. It might not be his. It might not be his. It might not be his and his daughter's child. Bro, you did not keep up at all there, did you? Fucking hell. Thanks for coming in the last minute. Jesus Christ, man. Right. Take Rosby. Just take the capital. Beat anyone else to it. Oh, God. Garth Waters. There is no longer the slightest doubt in my mind. My lover Widow has, Willow has given birth to a son. And we both know I'm his father. Um, keep that to yourself. There are too many secrets stacked up there. There are too many secrets stacked up there. Good God. <laughs> Good God. Now, about the spy network, then, what do you think? I don't think we're getting anything valuable out of it. In this particular situation, we don't need it. I think spies are a bit more valuable for a diplomacy character who can convince other people to do the legwork for him. But when we've got 
more skill than everyone else we could possibly recruit. I don't really see the point. So, why don't we flip to... Uh, we could try and get our Valyrian Steel back. It's we, we, We've got to get seven perks, and we're going to get one perk every few years. Family focus at this point, I think that's quite appropriate for him. We can have this as a goal, right? Because it's part of our ultimate revenge, isn't it? Getting back the Valyrian Steel and everything our father was owed. It is part of the revenge, which has always been this character's kind of modus operandi. How long is this going to take, though? Every two years. He's going to be an old man by the time we get it. He's going to be nearly 60. Oh, God. We're free from the plague. That's not necessarily a good thing. Like all the followers of the Red God, uh, my friend Stannis shares more with Rolor and by extension Eldon than he shares with most mortals. Okay, if only could get the Patriarch to relay some of Stannis' fears and plans to me. We're going to try and convince that his, uh, his Patriarch is Red Priest. He refutes. Oh. Oh, no. Now the clergy's standing in our way. How frustrating. Um, I guess we'll go for... I don't really know. I guess we'll go for charismatic and make our spies as useful as possible given that we've already invested into that. We take Rosby. We take Strongmead. We're good. I think now is just a ticking clock, right? Until victory, because they're not going to beat us with that many troops. Oh! Now this is interesting. Who's our best friend? King Stannis, Lady Branta, or Carol... Who the fuck now is Carol A. Blackmon? I don't even remember her. She was a childhood friend, right? Branta. He did just say don't trust anyone. Um, We can't... Oh, God, we have got quite a high opinion of Stannis, haven't we? But mostly, he did blackmail us. So, no, go for Branta. Go for Branta. I think she deserves it more than anyone else. Train Merrick again. Okay, good idea. Uh, Chivalry, that's the highest outcome again. So, that's what we'll be going for. He did not, sadly. He actually lost some experience because he's so stupid. God damn you, Merrick. No, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, Gretchen. Oh, no, another child. Uh, I must be very careful about this. Ralph the Bastard. Okay. Oh, God. She's depressed and ill. Oh, Gretchel, don't you die. You can't afford to lose two lovers this close. It would it would, it would, would break him, I think. Nice. There we are. Rosby is ours. We got 57 gold out of that, too. Beautiful. Is it much? Is there much point putting a commander in charge of this army? No. Right, let's head up to Strongmead. The ancestral lands. Take him. Kill him dead. We lost another spy, but that's okay. Difficult fight, but we're going to be totally fine. We've got advantage. We're good. We're good. We're all fine. 100%. Boom. And just like that, we're home. We're home. We're back. Thank you. That is so nice. That's so nice. That's lovely. Strongmead, I think, should become our capital. After everything we've done for it, it should be our capital again, huh? It's not as good as Rosby. Of course, Rosby has... Got a du is, is the Dutch capital, right? They've got the vineyard there. Ooh. There's no reason we can't keep Rosby and Strongmead. It's kind of... It's the same way the Targaryens keep Kings and, and Dragonstone, right? Dragonstone, arguably a bit more um, important to the family as a whole. But this is a practical capital to have. I think we move over here. But let's leave that for tomorrow. I think it's a fantastic place to live it off. Effectively, revenge complete, right? Great work. Good job. Very happy to see it. Thank you all for joining me today, then. A very slow at the beginning. Fully admit, uh, far too slow. Took too long to get any acceleration. We had a lot of plots and, and hooks fall through. Lots of time messing around with spies, because obviously I've never experienced that system before. Again, I think this is the wrong character for spies, and I know that now, and it was good. It was a good educational experience that we know for future, but, I mean, we've ended very much on a high note. We had some disgusting, but very in-character events for, for Anseric. He has very much suffered from the effects of his lustful, wreckish nature, as we've seen with the death of his wife, the, 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 the his grandson slash son being born to him is uh, mightily disturbing, actually kind of normal in the Game of Thrones world, in the grand scheme of things, mightily disturbing, but... These are all very good character building moments. I'm very happy with it, of course, and now we've returned home. But the revenge isn't totally complete. There is, of course, the matter of our Valyrian Steel, which we'll try and work over on over the next kind of 20 years or so. Whether he'll live that long, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Trying to arrange him a wife at some point as well. And more importantly, we've got to deal with our domain size. Maybe at this point, a stewardship wife would make the most sense. I'm not sure. Open to suggestions in the comments. Thank you for joining me. If there's anything I missed or forgotten, as always, please throw them in the comments. And I, I, I do always read those every day before I start recording. So they are very, very helpful.
Thank you in the meantime to Mr. Moosh, Flight Gamer, Kowalan in Pokemon Backer, Duck Muck 88, Mint, Mushrooms, Scaps, Nexstar, Emiria, Ethox, Crimson Chunga, Stafford NZ, Biblically Accurate Toothpick, Evan Crocker, Lord Snarky, Deets, Cole Bacon, Michael Nichols, A Pine Tree, Caius, Echo, 556, five, Dart, Nice, Swifties Theory, and Juiceda for their support. The executive producer stays over on Patreon. Thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, making this all possible. Thank you for allowing three series a day. It's always a pleasure and a privilege. And a thank you to Jarek, Mantle, Garrett, Thorstad, Callum James 3, Sam Harmon, Knight Lucia, Skylar Drake, Andre Philippe, The Merp, Pal Tala Mort, Jason R, Stretch Rogue, Peppy, and King Luffy Link 3 as well. Owen oh, Coy. Thank you too, Koi. Very appropriate for this episode. See you all tomorrow. Goodbye.